Hi everybody, hope you're well. I had a couple of people asking me would I like start on a completely new server and just like show everybody how I do that. So I've picked the US server and I'm just basically gonna start. It'll probably be a complete disaster, but we shall see. Alright guys. Okay, we will log in now. As long as I remember my actually type this password right this time. Okay. Okay, so now we can choose a horse. So obviously yeah, you guessed that didn't you? It wasn't gonna be anything else, right? Continue registration. Okay, so whenever you start, obviously you've got the quests, so um my welcome to horse my name is i at your service i'm going to teach you how to take care of your first full twilight but giving you several requests or quests in order to start off as a breeder okay so you can start the quest or you can skip the quest but the reason i'd say do the quest is purely because you got lots of free things okay so start the quests find and feed meet twilight he's a newborn fool and you will be taking care of him you now have a big responsibility to turn him into a champion, but before you can do that, you need to train him. Lesson 1. Feeding your foal. Mission. Nurse and make Twilight drink water. Congratulations, your foal has eaten properly and has gained a bit of energy. Energy is important because it allows Twilight to go riding, train and compete. Provide care. Even though it, is enjoyed, even though it enjoyed a good meal, your foal is still weak and it now needs to be groomed and stroked. Mission. Groom and stroke Twilight. Done. It looks like Twilight enjoyed that a lot. Stroking your horse has improved his energy and grooming him boosts his morale. Boosted his morale. I can't read. Uh, a horse with good morale spends less energy during actions. Bed down. Your horse can now bed. You can, oh, fuck. There. I can't talk. You're <laughs> you can now bed your foal after rewarding him with a carrot. He will then be ready to start a new day. Mission, give a carrot to Twilight and bed him. Twilight is now bedded down and ready to sleep. I've just given you some aging points that will soon be able, that you will soon be able to spend in order to age your foal to two months. Check energy. You took good care of the foal and will soon be able to make it age. But once, but before you do that, make sure your foal has at least 20% energy. If the energy level is 20, lower than 20%, your foal health could decline when it backs up. 30 energy. Confirm. That's right, your foal has that much energy. I've just given him 10% more energy so that you can age him without any worries. Read the next quest. Age your horse. Everything in order. Everything's in order. You may now age Twilight so you can move on to the next day. Just click the age button and your foal will go to two months. Okay. Congratulations, you just aged your horse. Twilight is now two months old. To celebrate, I give you 100 Equus. That's cheap, ow, that is cheap. Equus is the money you'll use in the game to make your purchases. You can see the re reserve of your Equus at the top of the page, of every page. That way you always know how much you have. Read the next quest. When have a look at Twilight's details, you will see that he cannot go for rides, train, or compete yet because he is too young. Click the competition section to see at what age your horse can compete with the best. Well, I already knew that, so give the minimum age for competitions. Three year old. Congratulations, a horse can indeed take part in competitions starting at three years old. You still have a little more work to do before you get there. Twilight will soon be able to take part in competitions, but is only two months from for now and your priority should be able to age it again to do so repeat the actions you did on the previous day mission take care of twilight then age him to four months okay right kudos twilight is now four months old to help you out i give it plus 10 energy in morale and health uh health is important it falls when your horse is having problems like it's too fat or if you age it with less than 20 percent energy so basically don't feed it donuts and goes back up when it's doing well. If your horse health gets too low, it can die. That is so morbid. We're waiting. You're starting to catch on to the game and Twilight is nearly four months old. Just one more quest before you go on so I can see that you're up to date. It's easy. The answer is on this page. Be bored in a question center. That's all. That's right. At six months old, you can be able 
you will be able to register Twilight in a question center. Once your horse is boarded in an equestrian center, he'll be able to go to the meadow and into a box. Your turn now. Take care of Twilight, then have your full age one more time to turn him six months old. Okay. Done. Excellent work. Twilight is six months old and is in good health. Let's have a look at what he can do now. Okay. Toilet can now be boarded in a question center to unlock the meadow in the box. Find a center that's right for your horse. Register my horse. Okay. I'm going to look for one with health mush in case I kill it by accident. Well, obviously it's also going to help if I kill it, but you know what I mean. Well done. Twilight is now being boarded in a question center for a few days. Consider boarding your horses regularly. Your foal must always be registered in a question center when you're taking care of it. Read the next quest. Twilight is all grown up now. No longer needs to nurse. He must not eat fodder. The appropriate quantity of food to give your foal is indica indicated when you feed, obviously, by this little box. Feed Twilight. Okay. Perfect. Twilight ate well. Always make sure that he gets exactly what he needs to eat, otherwise he could lose or gain weight, which can make his health level drop. Put in the meadow. When you put a horse in the meadow, it gains energy and morale and gets something to eat. The, uh, the advantage of the pasture is that there's plenty of food and it's free. Go for it. But remember to always make sure your horse has the right amount of food. Okay. Twilight has eaten because you put it in the meadow. It can also find treats there. You fed Twilight twice, one time with fodder, another time in the meadow. Consequently, your horse may have overeaten. So indicate the quantity of fodder eaten by Twilight today. Oh, wait a minute. I'm about to feed him more. Oops. Nearly killed him. You gave a total of 4.3 fodder units to Twilight, but he only needed four. This time it doesn't really matter, but if you do this too often, his health will decrease. Next to the meadow, you can also put your horse in a box. It will lose a bit of morale, but will gain energy. Okay, so put him in the box. Good. When putting your horse in a box, it can find bonus items. Right. Horse is a community game. To win and produce the best horse, you often need to play as a team or with friends. Enter the number of acres earned for inviting a new player. Mm, I think it's a thousand. Okay, no, it's not a thousand. It's, it's two. Okay. I knew that. If you got it right, I just gave you an extra 400 equus. Read the next quest. Okay, let's get back to breeding now. Make sure you have taken good care of Twilight and raise enough to eight months. Okay, so groom him and age him to eight months. Okay, is he eight months? Yeah, he is. Okay, well done. I just gave Chronos Fortune to Twilight. This will allow it to find treats and bonuses more easily while performing actions. Okay, you certainly understood this by now. I try it lives on a different rhythm, on its own schedule. On any given day, it always wakes up at the same hour. 8 a.m. Congratulations, you got it right. Each action you start requires time. Be careful not to start actions after 10 o'clock p.m. during Twilight's day, so it will be in good shape when it wakes up. On Twilight's page, you will see its genetic potential. The genetic potential determines the part of the skills that Twilight can reach once its training is completed. Well, it's going to be 350 because he's a foundation. Uh, go. I got one of them in the box. Confirm. Good job. You find your horse's genetic potential. To find out more about genetics, visit the help section. You can now have your horse play to increase his skills. The higher his skills, the better he will perform in competitions. Make sure he still has at least 20% energy at the end of the day. Okay. I'm just going to try and get 64. Um, the hell? All right. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and get 64 uh, games from skill. Well, skills from games. Well done. You will soon discover other ways to improve his skills. I just offered Immortality Twilight. It is no longer a danger of his house boost. I don't care. I think I expects me to kill this horse at this point. No faith in me. Oh, no faith in me at all. <clears throat> right. I'm going to try and get. 60 skills. Hopefully, keep this horse in one piece. I'm so used to auto feed that whenever I click anything that doesn't have auto feed, I'm like, why is it not working? Okay, I might have gone under 20 now. Yeah. Right. Maybe do a wee bit less with it this time just to bring it back up again. 
I'm not doing this the ideal way, but it sort of works every day. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe this time. And there we go. Okay, we're nearly there. Okay, so I need to make sure that I get the iron skills now. I feed him a wee bit extra this time just to, to get hopefully all the skills right. I'm not even going to need any three. Get a stroke, drink, carrot. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Okay. I'm probably... Oh, no. Okay, I'm literally just going to miss out the 60 skills by 0.6. No <laughs> oh, uh, I shouldn't have, like, let it get lower than that early. Alright, so that's not how to do full games? Okay, I think I'll leave that there, guys. Um, I hope you settle the video. Bye-bye.